Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and our latest project. Um, here we have just finished restoring a 1940 Keeney aerator. Now in 1939, Keeney came up with a machine called Keeney's Anti-Aircraft. And what it was was basically the same, it was the same gun and same front cabinet and uh, it was a projector, and what it did, um, it not only sh um, sh uh, displayed an airplane on the wall, it also uh, kept count of the flights and your hits, and that version has two more holes in their cabinet where you would project it on the wall. Now, in 1939, when they made that, you would have to have this machine, meaning, meaning just this part, that would have been uh, something that you would have maybe 20 to 30 feet away from a wall and it would be projected on a wall and you would see the airplane and the further you went back the bigger the airplane got so it was a great idea but think about it when it came to the arcades um you had people walking by and you really you needed a lot of space for that machine so in 1940 keeney came up with this version of it a little jazzed up um, and here you have the gun, uh, and you got this wing in the middle, and you have um, a single projector unit. And what you're going to be doing is, eventually, we're going to be shooting at an airplane. Now, the airplane's going to come across the screen from here. It's going to go to your left, and it comes at different points. You don't know those points, and... Um, it, you, you, you've really got to have a good memory to try to f remember where it comes from. Uh, so it's, it's a hard one to kind of get used to it. So um, it's always a challenge. Um, you have the option of uh, a different amount of flights, meaning here you have right now be, between each one of these little uh, stars, there's a number. Uh, we have it set for 15 flights for five cents. Um, this original name uh, plate. Uh, says 10 flights for five cents. Um, we have it set for 15. We could make it 10, but uh, it's just a little more fun to play a little longer, but uh, we couldn't leave this uh, original plate not on the machine. So does this machine, um, you see the gun, it was never chrome plated like it is. Uh, it looks absolutely beautiful plated, but uh, originally it was just uh, aluminum. Uh, it might have been polished at that time, but they didn't do too crazy. But uh, here we have it plated. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible. Go moves left to right, up and down. Got this awesome eyesight in the center here that you just line up. Now, a neat feature about this game. Well, let me go back. In 1939, when they made Keeney Anti-Aircraft, you actually had it set that you had to aim the airplane. Let's let's do it like this on your wall, and you have to be right in the center, and that is how you shot down the airplanes. In this version, they and because you can imagine how hard it was to aim it, so the kids would have a tough time playing this game. So in 1940, they made Keeney this version of it, and what we have here is. When the airplane actually comes onto the screen here, you have a projector also in here that shoots a little beam. It shoots a little white beam and that is your tracer beam. So as you see the plane flying across, you're trying to take that beam and you're lining it up right to the X on the airplane. And that is how this game goes and that's how you, how it, you, know, you score. So let's take a kind of little peek inside what makes this machine work. I'm going to open up this front door so you can get a peek inside. Get a flashlight. There we go. Inside there is your projector unit. It's hooked up to a motor because it moves. And it moves in uh, a, it's a pattern that is, it's probably like a five or six uh, motion uh, pattern. So that, like I said, you couldn't remember where it goes, but basically when it's all lined up, 
and I'll do it right here. How it's actually getting a score is you have to be right on your gun. That little brass pin has to be set right there. And on the right there, you'll see another brass a button. Now that one is set horizontal. So both of those pins have to be exactly lined up for that split second when you have your gun lined up to the X on the airplane. And for that split second, while you have the trigger um, uh, being pulled, it makes the complete uh, cycle of, of electricity flies through the machine and it'll make the bell ring and it gives you the hit. So as that plane is flying, you can hold that trigger and you can chase that airplane. As long as you keep that thing on the X, you'll get the bell to ring multiple times. Um, not as easy as it sounds or looks because that plane is moving quite quickly. All right, let's go down here. And here's your coin slide. Again, you get a nickel. It is set for free play and for money. Down here, you have the original coin box, which is something you don't come across too often. We have the original coin box here. Put that back in. And another feature of this machine, while you are playing the game, you are shooting the airplanes down. Um, Keeney thought of a really cool idea. And um, I guess originally it may not have been as good as it, um, as they wanted it to be, but we kind of modified this and made it even better. What you're gonna do is while you're playing the game, you're gonna feel like you're flying an airplane and you are in the sky because this whole white field is, starts to move. It moves with blue and white, so you see clouds uh, coming at you, and they're moving. And that is because of a carousel in the back of this machine. And as that turns, it is projecting the clouds out. And I'm going to just open this up really quick so you can take a sneak a peek in there of this cylinder here that is original. And... Um, the light, you have two light bulbs in there and we changed them to LED so they're a little brighter and it makes, it makes the game that much fun. And up on the top left corner there, you'll see a little black box. That's not original. That is an added little feature that we put into this machine that's absolutely awesome. And what it is is a sound card. And as you're playing, you are listening to real World War II airplanes um, flying through the sky. What else can I tell you? Uh, in the back here, here's where it all happens. You have your old school fuses, and right here, this is your flight deck unit. That is, every time you hit that trigger, you are advancing this uh, little uh, mechanism here that uh, recognizes and moves to the next flight, because you're gonna, we'll have 15. Um, down below here, you'll see this little adjustable. It says 8, 10, 12, and 15 flights. And if you wanted to match the exact um, uh, nameplate there, you would just take that double pin, this double pin here, and you'd bring it up to 10. So it matches the game uh, card. And these are your stepper units. The first stepper unit uh, goes, I believe, to... If I remember correctly, it goes to 800 points. And then at 800 points, it activates the second stepper unit. And that's going to go, I believe, 8 to, I think, 1,300 points is the most you can get on this machine. Um, but um, as you see, it's uh, complicated, but not that complicated. Um, amazing for what um, a company would do to make a nickel. I mean... Uh, when this machine was brand new, and then you look at the billboard trading ads, there's an ad for this machine in 1940 for $125. That had to have been a huge amount of money, seeing that all of this beauty is going, you know, a nickel at a time. Uh, that's a lot of plays to just, you know, catch up to the amount of uh, money needed to make this or, you know, to come out ahead. But... Can you see this kind of machine walking up a little kid seeing this, or even an adult? 
oh my God, you just got to play it. And it's a nickel at a time. It runs for probably, I would say it's maybe a, a minute to two minutes. And there might be a line of people just waiting to play this game. So, um, you know, it had to have been profitable. Uh, otherwise, these things, uh, they would have never made them. But uh, not too many of these exist. They're, they're hard to come by just because of their size. Uh, after a game didn't work, uh, you know, what do you do with it? You put it on the side and because this thing is so big and it's, you know, basically four pieces. You have your you have your front base. You got your wing in the center. You got this part here and the top. Uh, they do separate. Um, you can see someone trying to slide this against the floor, move it in somewhere. And where do you think it's going to break? It's always going to break here or over here. And this wing is usually always missing. Um, this one wasn't in bad shape, uh, but the machine itself was in really bad shape. Uh, this particular machine uh, came out of a basement in Baraboo, Wisconsin. Um, it might have been down there for probably 40 years. Uh, everything was delaminated. Um, it's, I can't even imagine. I forgot how much <laughs> work we put into this thing to bring it back. But uh, any of the really bad panels, we had we did replace them, uh, and uh, we used all the solid wood corners. But some of the plywood was just completely shot, so we had to uh, you know replace all of that. But um, that's enough of talking about this machine. So how about let's give it a go. And here we are. So that's enough about talking about this machine. I'm gonna have my friend Phil actually play it and we're gonna watch what he does. Try to get behind him. Now there's a little X on that airplane and that's the sweet spot. And you're gonna chase it. Oh, Phil, you gotta do better than that. <laughs> uh, it's about how fast you, your response is. Cause you don't know where it's coming out of. And it's all coming out of this projector unit right over here. Now there's a timer inside the machine if you can hear ticking and that ticking goes on for probably about another minute or so and at the same time it keeps the, the score up on the deck shows the flights and you see the clouds. Um, part of it is now someone just finished playing this game it's kind of like a you know it's a teaser so someone would walk up to this game and say oh my god look at that and you see the clouds moving. And shortly after, you know, like a minute or two, uh, the light and the timer will just turn off and it'll wait for the next person to put in their nickel. Well, there you have it. If you're in the market for a Keeney Air Raider or a Keeney anti-aircraft gun game, please give us a call. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. 
Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the new machines coming to the warehouse. Thanks for watching.